Hey, Dad, remember in John 18.10 when Peter cut off Malchus' ear and Jesus stuck it back on? Yeah. Why would Jesus put his ear back on? At that time, when Peter assaulted Malchus, the servant of the high priest, that was a capital crime. Peter could have been executed. When Jesus restored the ear, he took away all evidence that Peter had ever transgressed. So if he would have went before the council and accused Peter of a crime, there was absolutely no evidence that Peter had ever transgressed or committed a crime. And that's representative of what Jesus has done for us. When we ask Jesus for salvation, and when we're cleansed in his blood, Jesus' blood takes away all evidence that we have ever transgressed. And it doesn't matter who accuses or what they say they have. <clears throat> when we stand before the a holy judge, a holy God, and he looks at us after we've been washed in the blood of Jesus, Jesus has taken away all evidence that we have ever transgressed. And there's no evidence whatsoever in our past. So when he sees us, he sees us spotless, without blemish, because of his son Jesus Christ and the blood that he shed. And that's what it's representing to us <clears throat> in that verse, is Jesus has restored it all if we depend on him and trust in him.